Hey there YouTube, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Batman Arkham Origins on your Mac. Uh, so basically you do need a, uh, a Insta PC installation um, from a, either the same computer on your Windows partition, uh, like I have, or um, from you know a different computer that you install it on to play on your Mac. Uh, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to see the game is working on my computer right now. I'm just going to go ahead and quit out of it. Um, the important part to know about, this is a wineskin wrapper, the important part to know about uh, the wine scene wrappers is actually if you want to quit out of them on your Mac you have to um, press command function F4 to quit the game. You can see that the, the splash screen right here actually does work. Uh, so anyways, that's important. But what you need to do is first go ahead and go to this link. Um, you're going to want to download uh, this uh, 7-zip file. You're going to need something like the unarchiver or um, you know a wrapped version of 7-zip or something uh, to or p7zip, there's a bunch of uh, something like simple RAR will work as well. Uh, there's a bunch of file utilities out there for Mac to do them. You can always do this on a Windows uh, PC and then transfer it over to your Mac computer if you uh, if you have that lying around. Uh, but that's probably the more intrusive way to do it. Anyways, go ahead and just download this to your computer. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to load it into your cache and it's actually going to copy it or move it into your uh, downloads folder. So it may not look like it's downloading in your browser right here, uh, but it actually will be downloading just into your cache. Uh, wherever that happens to be. So once you've got that in your downloads folder, like I do, just go ahead and click on it and wait for it to uh, to verify on mount right here. So then once you have, this is actually the wrapper, you can see that the game is only 523.1 megabytes, which clearly is not big enough to be a full game. So the porting team didn't go ahead and just host a, uh, a about 12, 12 to 15 gigabyte file on their, on their servers that's basically the whole game. They didn't do that. So what you need to do is you actually just need to copy this onto your desktop or something. Uh, and we're just gonna... I'll just let this start copying while I explain it and uh, show you the rest of the game. So basically what you're gonna do is I actually have a boot camp partition. Um, this is what I'm gonna use to go ahead and get to my installation directory. If you do not have a boot camp partition you're gonna need a Windows computer to go ahead and uh, get the program files, uh, the installation directory. There's always the option of downloading this illegally, which I do not recommend, um, do not condone, because obviously it's illegal. Um, I think a NOS team did a port of this, but I wouldn't um, in any way, shape, or form go for that, because it is, again, illegal. Um, and I bought the game, so I like it a lot. It's fun. Uh, I actually don't game that much, but uh, seeing as though there's been a lot of uh, internet people out there wanting to be able to play this, I thought I would do a little Mac tutorial. I'm surprised uh, that... I don't think anybody's done one yet. So anyways, just go ahead and locate your uh, installation directory. So this is my installation directory. And what you're going to do is uh, we're just going to go ahead and um, put this copy to our desktop. And uh, it takes me forever because the, if I try and edit this video in iMovie, the uh, resolution, part of my screen gets cut off. Actually, a lot of it gets cut off. Um, so for that reason, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to stop this copying. You guys will want to let this finish copying, so do let it finish copying. Um, once it is uh, in on your desktop, in your applications folder, right? I'm going to go ahead down to here. Okay. We've got this. Go ahead and just show package contents right here. Uh, go to Drive C, uh, Package Program Files. And then, as you can see, I just dragged it. I literally just dragged it right into the uh, to this folder. Um, let it let it copy. And uh, once you've done that, you can also go ahead. Uh, you can just close this. Uh, you can unmount the DMG file because you've copied it into your applications folder, and you can uh, delete this from your downloads. But I sort of want to keep this just for in the future in case. You can always open this wine skin thing. Uh, you can set some of the. Um, set some of the settings. I changed the uh, the icon. I think uh, I think it was just originally a little wine skin icon. Looks like this a little bit. Um, do not, do not, do not delete this exe flag. It is extremely important that that's there. Otherwise, the game will uh, will pause at the beginning screen. Um, it's automatically included. You don't need to put it in there or anything. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, I would just leave it like everything is. Um, don't change any of the settings unless you're absolutely positive about what you're doing. Um, you, again, you can always down, re-download the, uh, um, re the wrapper. Apparently, yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, Dan, for doing this. Uh, <laughs> um, 
but uh, you can also set some of these things. You can do a test run as well as being able to close, reclick, set screen options. So you can do some of this. Uh, you can always use uh, X11, I suppose, uh, and you can get that from different places. But um, it's up to you, really, whatever you want to do with it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this a little bit to show you guys uh, how it works and what such. Got to clean my Mac, it's getting angry at me. Okay, so you can see that after a few seconds, another ICO comes up, even though I clicked this little uh, this button right here, it's going to show me the splash screen, and then it's just going to go right into the game. My mouse moves up to the upper left hand corner, and then the, uh, the game starts playing. So basically you're just going to go ahead and click to start. It's going to search for downloadable content. Ba -ba -da -ba. Apparently there is none this time. So I sort of started a game basically. Um, it's just going to give you, bring you through, through a, a few options, you know, game, difficulty, brightness, um, volume, etc. Change the graphic settings at any time. I think for each game save it actually um, saves your settings. Um, on the Mac here, uh, the crouch control is actually left control, but uh, that's a little bit difficult to get mid-game because you have to like get your, your pinky or your thumb back there. So basically what I did is I changed my, uh, my crouch in the control settings to a left command button. Um, even though it says left alt in my, in my menu, it's actually the left command button because according to um, the, whenever I try and change it to uh, the option button, it, there isn't one because I guess there isn't one on Windows either. So anyways, we can go uh, into options, controls. Uh, this is for the Xbox 360 controller for Windows, uh, I guess if you have one, or if you have a Logitech and you have a program that enables you to play Batman Arkham Origins with uh, your your Logitech controller, which actually would be a lot of fun, uh, but one of my friends says one, maybe I can ask him to use it sometime. Uh, so basically, you can see that Crouch is left alt, um, originally it says left control, uh, which is, I guess, the default for Windows. It's probably a lot easier to get to, considering that the control button on Windows is usually the left, the bottom leftmost button on your uh, on your machine if you have a Windows machine. But since we are are playing on Macs here, just go ahead and click on this. Hit your left command button or any button that you want. Um, and basically, I hit the uh, command, the left command button, but it says left alt. I think it's due to the, the wine wrapper. And we can go ahead, escape is back, escape is back, and uh, escape is back one more time. And I'm just gonna hit enter to. Uh, to do a continue story. Alright. So I'm actually in the prison right now. And it's loading my game save, which really, <laughs> I've only walked around a little bit. And yeah, now I watched like, this one guy kill the prison warden. So, oh yeah, okay, so. So I'm using WAC to walk. Let's just give you guys a little preview. And now you can see that since. I changed my uh, my button so even though the left control would work, it still does work. I think actually they both work. So left control as well as left option are both crouched. So whichever one you can get to faster, then you're just gonna go ahead and use your your uh, your arrow keys to go go forward. Space hold space to run. He actually does this weird like flying thing. I guess he's a bat, so it makes sense. Go ahead and go down here. Anyways, a um, little bit of violence right there, so I, that's why I paused it. Uh, you can't take the violence, don't play the game, obviously. Uh, you can mess around with your graphics options. Uh, I tend to change my uh, my brightness to put them all the way up, just so I can see it better. Uh, that's basically about all I've got to say about this game, um, besides the fact that once you exit the game, so, yeah, I'm going to exit, unfortunately. I'm probably going to come back and just play this when I'm done with this video. <laughs> but, uh, alright. I'm going to go ahead and exit again. Alright, so I did exit the game. If the game does not exit correctly for you, what you need to do is go ahead and press Command Function F4. That's like the equivalent of pressing Alt F4, which is the uh, force quit in a, uh, in a Windows application, just like the uh, Command Q in Mac. So if you didn't know any of that, you know it now. Command Q is to quit, to force quit. Uh, well, just to quit Mac applications. Uh, Alt F4 is to quit uh, Windows applications, and Command Function F4 is to uh, quit applications through the wine skin or cider, uh, or wine bottle or wrappers. Uh, if you if you're playing a uh, Windows game or using a Windows application, uh, for example, I have actually 
ported 7-zip over to uh, Max. I basically what it does is this is just a little automator uh, application that I, uh, I use to run a terminal command that uses Wine to open the Windows version. Uh, if you're interested in something like that, you guys are like, well, how are you running a uh, you know, little 7-zip? It's, it's going to get going here in a second. Um, through Wine, actually, you can search it up on the internet. Uh, if you're interested, just leave the comment uh, down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, just remember to uh, like, favorite, subscribe uh, to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed.